Hi guys, this is Q with Breaking-News.ca. Well, this just in, the Russian government officials have told people to immediately bring back children studying abroad. In Europe, when it gets serious, you have to lie, at least if you're an unelected bureaucrat like Jean-Claude Juncker. In Russia, however, when it gets serious, attention immediately turns to the children. Which is why we read a report in Russian, a website from Znak, published on Tuesday. According to Russian state officials and government workers, they were told to bring back their children studying abroad immediately, even if it means cutting their education short and not waiting until the end of the school year, and re-enroll them in Russian schools with some concern. The article adds that if parents of these same officials who live abroad for some reason and have not lost their Russian citizenship should also be returned to the motherland. Zenak cited five administration officials as the source of the report. The quote-unquote recommendation applies to all, from the administration staff to regional administrators to lawmakers of all levels. Employees of public corporations are also subject to the ordinance. One of the sources said that anyone who fails to act will find such a non-compliance to being a complicating factor in the fur furtherance of their public sector career, quote-unquote. He added that he was aware of several such cases in recent months. It appears that the underlying reason behind the command is that, Russian, that the Russian government is concerned about the optics of having children of the Russian political elite being educated abroad while their parents appear on television talking about patriotism and being surrounded by enemies, quote unquote. While we doubt the impact children, the impacted children will be happy by this development, some of the more patriotic locals, if unimpacted, are delighted such as Vitaly Ivanov, a political scientist who believes that the measure to return children of officials from studying abroad is, quote, long overdue, unquote. Accordingly, Ivanov, the education of children of the Russian elite abroad is subject to constant ridicule and derision against the ruling regime. Quote, people note the hypocrisy of having a centralized state and cultivating patriotism and anti-Western sentiment while children of government workers study abroad. You cannot serve two gods, you must choose, quote unquote. On the other hand, political analyst Stan Stanislav Balavolsky, quoted by Zenak, believes that such decisions could be approached with more pragmatism, such as recommendation is likely to lead to an outflow of officials from the state rather than allow the return of children studying at elite foreign universities. He also warned of attempts to relocate an echo chamber such as that experience after the failed coup attempt on Turkey's president, Erdogan. But what he said next was most disturbing, quote, on the other hand, this is all part of package of measures to prepare the elites for some quote unquote big war, even if it's rather conventional. On the other hand, this is another blow to the unity of President Putin, President Putin with his own elite, unquote. Belkovsky said he added the Western sanctions launched in March 2014 had sought to drive a wedge between Putin and elites. In response, the Kremlin began to act precisely according to the logic of these sanctions. But while a ban for having assets in the West is one thing and understandable, when it comes to a ban for offshore health and education services, the blowback will be far greater as it represents a far more important element of the establishment's life strategy." Unquote. Ultimately, the motivation behind Putin's decision is unclear. Whether it is to show Russia's high-ranking oligarchs who is boss, to boost a sense of patriotism amongst the nation by sending a symbolic message that the West is no longer a welcome destination for ri Russia's rich kids, or just a preemptive move of repatriating of any individuals affiliated with Russian politics for other unknown reasons. However, it underscores the severity of the ongoing diplomatic crisis in just how significant the upcoming isolation between Russia and the West is likely to become in the coming months. Unless, of course, tensions de-escalate dramatically in the very near future, resulting in even greater collapse in global commerce and a further slowdown to world economic growth, which may ultimately lead to an armed conflict, whether regional or global, as the only possible outcomes. Well, there you have it, folks. Um, I, in the last little section here, when it says that, that really it's about economic growth and things leading ultimately to an armed conflict, whether it's regional or global. Uh, you know, this reporter here really believes that uh, 
that it's one or two things. This is really Russia or Putin in specific, you know, using the propaganda to say, come on home. You know, uh, it's time to come on home because things are at that point. You know, that's a real possibility. Just earlier this month, they had uh, 40 million citizens in the, in the uh, Fe Russian Federation practice uh, nuclear, nuclear fallout drills in bunkers. Um, you know, t just today, Russia's uh, tested more ICBMs from land and also from submarines. Uh, you know, it seems that war is inevitable. You know, it, it, there, if we don't have war, it's because people actually get together. And I mean, the United States carry Putin and his people and, you know, the European Union, hopefully, you know, throws their voices into getting diplomatic relations going and established again. You know, and bringing it back to a more sensible, genteel, you know, uh, operation, as it were. So again, this is Q with breaking-news.ca. Um, keeping an eye on this. Again, Russia, Putin, sends out the order to diplomats and officials and quote-unquote Russian elites to bring their children home. This is again Q with breaking-news.ca. Please like and share. We appreciate every time you do.